oceans cover a large portion of the planet's surface. And when these seas meet fresh water at a land mass, wetlands occur. Wetlands exist in every country and climate zone. But in the tropics, mangrove swamps are formed. This edge of the sea is a special meeting point of salt with fresh and dry with wet. A mangrove swamp is a place of constant change. As these mixing waters are further complicated by regular tides that bring in new salt concentrations. This creates a unique ecosystem where various microflora like algae and rich organic material survive among the hardy mangrove trees. It's this difficult place that crabs call home. In fact, mangrove swamps are crab kingdoms. Red-clawed mangrove crabs are shy but extremely territorial. Hiding out under tall black mangrove trees, the crabs rely heavily on these trees. Not for shade though, but for food. When a leaf falls from overhead, hairs on their bodies vibrate as the leaf strikes the ground, the cue to grab breakfast. One has to be fast though. And luckily for this bunch, there are plenty of leaves to go around. It's only the yellow leaf that interests them, and there is a reason for that. Mangrove trees are the heroes of a swamp like this. Their ability to thrive under such volatile conditions is remarkable. The tides flood them and in turn pull away all moisture, as well as surrounding them with salty ocean water. But all mangrove trees are able to make fresh water from salt water. In doing so, they have to store the salt somewhere, and that goes to about 5% of their leaves, which turn yellow. When this sacrificial leaf falls from the mangrove tree, it takes with it much of the acidic sea salt. And it's this tasty leaf that drives the secretive vegetarians from their burrows. Driven by the moon, tides also sweep through the swamps twice a day, leaving soggy, deoxygenated soil behind. Mangrove trees are like all trees and need oxygen to survive. But to help them with this, their roots are shallow and also protrude out of the water to help supply the plant with air. These small fiddler crabs are males, and male fiddler crabs like to fight. This oversized pincer claw is used for defending territories and impressing females, who don't need larger pincers and can manage just fine with the same size claws. These male crabs are actually left and right clawed. Communicating is done through a series of waves and gestures, and eating is done by moving chunks of sediment from the ground to the mouth, where the contents are sifted through for algae, microbes and decaying vegetation. Leftovers are dumped as neatly rolled up balls. These feeding habits play a vital role in aerating soil in this wetland environment. Routine is what they cling to, but it takes highly specialized animals to survive this bombardment of extremes. Showing that once more, life and all of its challenges like reproduction, feeding, breathing, still manage to happen in a place as volatile as the swamps. Mm -hmm.